The life cycle of cnidarians usually involves an alternation of generations, in which a polyp generation alternates with a medusa generation. Polyps, usually sessile, produce motile medusas through asexual budding. Medusas are free-swimming predators. They produce a new generation of polyps through sexual reproduction. Medusa form cnidarian individuals are called jellyfish. During their embryonic development, cnidarians form two germ layers, an outer core, called the endoderm, and an inner one, called the ectoderm. That is, they do not yet exhibit a middle germ layer, or mesoderm. The two germ layers develop into the outer and the inner body layers, that is, the epidermis and the gastrodermis. These layers are connected by a jelly-like middle layer, called the mesoglea. The inner layer contains gland cells, which secrete digestive enzymes that start the digestion process. Digestive cells absorb the partly digested materials and complete their digestion. That is, in cnidaria, both intracellular and extracellular digestion are present. The epidermis contains epitheliomuscular cells. The elongated base of these cells contains contractile protein fibers that provide mobility for the jellyfish. Neurons regulate the contraction of the epitheliomuscular cells with electric signals. The neurons form a diffuse nervous system. Nerve cells are distributed throughout the organism without advanced nerve centers through which there may be ganglia. Nidocytes contain a toxin that is fired into the prey. As soon as the prey touches the ciliary receptors of the nidocyte, it is activated. Thus, the hinged operculum opens, the nidocyl penetrates the body surface of the prey, and the thread that has been fired injects venom into the wound. This process takes place in less than a microsecond. The oral arms contain the highest number of nidocytes. The jellyfish uses its oral arm to direct its prey into the gastric cavity. Jellyfish may also pose a threat to humans.